Hi, let's see how to fix unable to connect to the server by using the Windows PowerShell Remote Inc. So, are you an encountering the frustrating error message unable to connect to the server by using the Windows PowerShell Remote Inc? This issue can impede your ability to efficiency efficiently manage and administer remote server using the powershell fortunately there are several troubleshooting steps and solutions available to address this challenge so the error message reads unable to connect to the remote server at line one char one so let's see how to fix the unable to connect to the server by using the windows powershell remoting the first method is change the dns settings dns misconfigurations can impede the ability of your system to resolve the names of the remote hosts which is essential for the PowerShell remoting. Changing the DNS settings can, to use a more reliable DNS server can sometimes resolve the connectivity issues. Okay, some of the steps to change the DNS settings follow these steps sequentially one by one. Second method is verify the firewall settings. Firewall settings can block the when RM communication making it crucial to verify that they are configured correctly. To verify the firewall settings, open the firewall that is a Windows firewall. Go to the inbound rules and check for the rules allowing the ports 5985 and 5986. If absent, create the new rules. Okay, so click on new rule and choose port and click next. Select TCP and input ports 5985 and 5986. Choose allow the connection, select network types, name the rule and finish. Verify the rules are, are enabled. Repeat the outbound rules if needed. The third method is verify, validate the WinRM service status. The WinRM service needs to be active to use the PowerShell remoting. Okay, so follow some of the steps to verify the WinRM service status. Launch the PowerShell as admin. Run get service win rm to check the status. If stop start with the start service win rm. Set the auto start with the set service win rm. Set startup type automatic confirm running the status with the get service win rm. The status should now be running. The fourth method is modify the trusted host list. Adding the remote host to the trusted hosts can help when dealing with the authentication issues across the different domains open the powershell as admin add the remote host to trusted hosts confirm the change the fifth method is utilize the https transport using the https enhances the security and can bypass some connectivity issues due to encryption okay some of the steps to opting the http transport Install the SSL certificate on the remote server. Configure the WinRM for the HTTPS on the server. Connect securely from the client. Enter the PSSP session, computer name, remote host, use SSL. The sixth method is confirm the SPM registration. Service principal names are required for the Kerberos authentication to function properly. If the SPN for the service is not registered or is incorrect, Kerberos authentication might fail. So follow some of the steps to confirm the SPN. Open the admin command prompt. Query SPN with this. If needed, register SPN using this particular command. Recheck with the step two to confirm registration. The seventh method is review event viewer logs. Event logs can provide the detailed error information that can pinpoint the root cause of remoting issues open the event viewer in the left pane expand the windows log logos select the application to view the application related logos logs look for the recent error or the warning events related to the winrm or the powershell repeat the process for the system logs for the system related events investigate the details of any relevant events to diagnose the issues the eighth method is Experiment with the authentication methods. When default authentication fails, try alternative methods. May establish a successful connection. Launch the PowerShell as admin. Use new session or enter the PS session. 
with the credentials to prompt for the different user credentials enter the username and the password and prompted attempt the to establish the remote session with the new credentials the ninth method is disable the firewalls temporarily always try to disable the firewall whenever you are trying to use the application because these kind of firewalls treat these kind of applications are malicious or spam so open the windows firewall windows defender firewall from the control panel click on turn windows defender firewall on or off choose turn off for both private and the public networks test the powershell remote remoting session reactivate the firewall immediately after testing the tenth method is ensure the system updates keeping the system up to date can resolve the compatibility issues that may affect the powershell remoting search for the windows update in the start menu and open it click check for the updates install me available updates restart the machine if prompted to complete the update process the 11th method is leverage the microsoft documentation microsoft comprehensive documentation can offer the additional insights and solutions for the complex issues follow some of the steps to leverage the microsoft documentation visit the microsoft official website documentation website search for the powershell remoting troubleshooting guides follow any additional recommended steps that are specific to your issues the 12th method is contact the microsoft support team that is the customer support team if you have tried all other troubleshooting methods and if you're still facing the problem you can contact the microsoft support team for further assistance their expertise they will help you to fix the problem and they will give you the better solution okay so that's all about this Thank you.